Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for this week's Capricorn Weekly Horoscope. It commences the 24th of May, tomorrow, Monday. It's a big week this week. Uh, we're having a lunar eclipse flower supermoon in your 12th house this week and also Mercury is going retrograde in your 6th house so I'll talk all about those in a moment when we come to your horoscope but uh, in the meantime uh, a few people have asked me to draw, draw a tarot card so let's have a look and see what comes out for you I'll just close my eyes a lot of water here uh, that suggests your emotions could be heightened this week uh, Capricorn normally you're quite logical and matter of fact about things but um, your heart might be sort of running away with you a little bit this week let's have a look and see what comes out in the cards <coughs> excuse me um, we've got here uh, the ace of wands so this is a fabulous card for new beginnings you could be feeling quite inspired this week and uh, really motivated to get some new projects done you see there's a baseball bat there with a few green leaves so so these green leaves are always about growth and opportunity but the baseball bat does suggest that you need to take some action okay so spirits handing you a gift where you can take action on that because you're going to have some energy uh, towards to go towards something You'll see there there's a crown there's lots of little buds on that crown and uh, sometimes a crown can be like some sort of um, sacrifice that you have to put your energy into and with any new project of course it's going to take time and energy and thinking it's a crown because it's on your head and that's what you need to do uh, think about it but most importantly feel the motivation and the inspiration because you'll be inspiring to other people okay so let's have a look at your horoscope now and see what's in store okay so wednesday the 26th uh, there's no sort of major in influences until then but wednesday the 26th sees the moon six styling saturn and you're likely to be feeling quite calm and balanced this is a, a sort of quiet time when you keep to yourself pretty much and you can get some real practical chores done as well uh, you may be looking within and thinking about the direction of your life then uh, on the same day we have the lunar eclipse flower supermoon in your 12th house so transformation within now in your spiritual world you're likely to be feeling more sensitive and perceptive than usual uh, it's a great time to look within and undertake some sort of spiritual renewal examine your dreams feel your feelings and pay close attention to the small little insights you may get throughout the day maybe you can write down how you're feeling in a journal although clear thinking might be in short supply now it is a great time to figure out what you really want in your life Thursday 27th sees the moon conjuncting your ascendant uh, you could uh, be a little bit moody or have some emotional impulses uh, that try to dominate you now or you know maybe you just feel like doing what you feel like doing rather than what you should do uh, all of your emotions are likely to be intensified but that's fine just go with the flow uh, 29th of May to the 21st of June Mercury is retrograde in your sixth house now either side of these dates is also a thing called a shadow period and we're in that now and that is when the energy of Mercury is coming on or going off as Mercury turns direct later and uh, here you have to be a little bit cautious because there could be some misunderstandings or delays regarding your everyday work communications with co-workers or employers could also go askew maybe there's some miscommunication or misunderstanding concerning your health or well-being do watch your appointments with health providers uh, double check because they there could be some sort of delays or they get mucked up somehow but it's only temporary uh, you know mercury retrograde comes and goes 
couple of times every year so we just have to get on and, and get used to it uh, any sort of little flashes of insight you get though uh, write them down write everything down that's a good idea when mercury is retrograde do be careful signing contracts and agreements uh, because the terms and conditions may not be suitable later when mercury turns direct then you may need to go back and rectify a situation uh, the good thing about Mercury retrograde is if you started something before uh, Mercury went retrograde, then it's a great time to finish it, okay, complete it. Uh, with Mercury retrograde, you know, sometimes things get muddled up, so bide your time before making important decisions if you can. And then Sunday the 30th of May, uh, the moon is conjuncting Saturn. You could be feeling quiet and realistic and sort of more contained. So just sort of a peaceful sort of feeling uh, generally. But if a dark mood did come over you, know that it's only temporary. Maybe there's a little bit of pessimism now. Uh, and with Mercury retrograde, you may not be seeing the entire situation clearly now. Do wait uh, before uh, coming to conclusions. Uh, if you can put things off, as I said before, that's probably a better course of action. And uh, soon enough, you'll be able to think very clearly and logically as you normally do. Okay, so that's your horoscope for this week, uh, Courageous Capricorns. I hope it's uh, useful for you. If you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell right now. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful music. Just sit and relax for a few minutes, one or two minutes, and see how you feel. Have a beautiful week. Thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.